Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Does Amazon have a review problem? We're going to be looking at an article from The Guardian today to address that very issue. All right, so what we're going to look at here is there was an article that came out uh, today. Oh, maybe it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday afternoon uh, from The Guardian basically saying Amazon shoppers misled by bundled star ratings and reviews. So what they're basically saying is that there's issues on the review things and Amazon reviews have had its number of issues over the years. Uh, one of them is of course that there's, it's very possible to buy reviews and there's legitimate sites that now some of the quote buying review sites, they don't guarantee you like there's scummy ones and there's not scummy ones. Not uh, the scummy ones is pay us money and we'll have a, a an Indian call center get up there and give you and spam your profile with a bunch of five star reviews and people recognize that. The last scummy ones is in the author world at least and I don't know how this works in other fields but as an author you used to be able to buy a package and basically it was companies that had mailing lists of people who did author reviews and some of these still exist. Um, I've looked into some of them and these are not scummy. These do not give you five star reviews. It is literally you buy the service, the company picks up the books and then they will pay the reviewers to get the book, read the book and give an honest review on Amazon. And it it's used to be called a, an Amazon professional reviewers. Those programs in the author world are generally a decent thing because you will get some people that love the book and love the style and you get some of them that are like, eh, maybe not. Um, and so you're not guaranteed five star reviews. You're guaranteed reviews, honest reviews. And so there's two things in that industry. Obviously, the more integrated one is that last option. The less integrated one is paying a Chinese call center or an Indian call center to spam your profile with 100 reviews for 30 bucks. Um, and that is one of the things to look at. But the problem with Amazon is, is that reviews carry with it a lot of credit. And the problem is sometimes the reviews are not necessarily good. Sometimes they are. Now, another issue is there's requirements as the who can leave a review. So you can't just create an Amazon account and leave a review right now. As of now, you have to have an Amazon account, have a, an actual credit card on file, which is odd to me. And then you have to have spent over $50. I think as long as I have actually spent my own money to buy a product, I should be able to review it no matter how you got that money. And frankly, they don't have that option. So if you go and look at an Amazon review, there is a verified purchase option, which means that the person bought the thing through Amazon and they're using that Amazon link. Now, is that, does that always carry with it the most weight? It may, it may not. The problem is with that system, is that it's very possible for me as an author to give you a copy of the book. You want to get on and give it a legitimate review, but it doesn't show purchase, purchase verified because it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Um, because I've given you the copy of the book. So there's a little bit of issue in, in the world in that arena, but let's go ahead and have a look at what the guardian is talking about. Um, Basically, what Amazon will do is in some instances is they will bundle reviews. And so what they're looking at is there's some badly translated books. So if you go back into uh, the public domain, you can grab a lot of books. Now, not everybody can just grab a public domain book, reformat it and put it on Amazon. If it's something that is in the uh, in the public domain, the requirements to put that on Amazon is it has to have some some extra merit. So maybe it has uh, a, an extra literary review. Maybe it has a specific translation. Maybe it has whatever it happens to be. But it turns out that a lot of these things that we're looking at seem to have scraped from the public domain thrown something together and just toss it up for sale or maybe even for free. And then these guys got bundled together in reviews. And so, uh, what they're looking at here, um, what they found in their research, badly translated or updated Kindle versions. And they're looking at, at some Jane Austen, uh, books, 
Uh, they're looking at uh, TV versions, um, you know, actual Hollywood releases versus um, things that were, were clearly um, pirated, um, sold as not pirated. Um, then they had, you know, there's some reviews for those complaints from consumers who had been misled, um, by, because of, of bundled things. And so here's what they're looking at. Now you had to go to the UK to see this. In fact, they have a picture here and I want to see, is this still the case? And as of today it is. So, uh, what I did is I searched specifically for the Collins classic pride and prejudice. And then here's the Collins classic persuasion. Notice that the reviews is exactly the same. Now we're going in and looking at these two live. I have not done this yet. My guess is these are going to be bundled together products and effectively it's going to be about the same. That's my guess. All right. So if we come on down to reviews now, again, this is only, can I get to reviews? Uh, please. Thank you. All right, so um, this is, again, on the UK version of Amazon. We are on the UK version of Amazon right now. I got to get back down to the reviews again. It's like I got to scroll down a couple times to get it to pop up on my reviews. All right, let's just click this button here. That should get me. Maybe. All right, so here is the reviews that we have. I'm trying to get to reviews on this one here, and I can't seem to get there. Transferring, transferring. All right, let's just start over here and finish that guy. I'll hopefully finish loaded. So here we have a variety. So you can see these, this mark here, top 500 reviewer. These are the ones we're talking about. These people actually make careers out of joining mailing lists to get reviews. Some of them it's, um, it's paid books. Some of them it's different things. All right. So here's our reviews over here and you'll see that they are exactly the same reviews. In fact, it's the same URL. Exactly. We've landed on the page. You can't see the URL is exactly the same. And so whether we got here through persuasion or whether we got here through pride and prejudice, literally it's the exact same. You can kind of see what I'm, we're doing here. Nothing is changing. And so what they're looking at here is that if we go back to this book, they have linked all of these guys together in such a way that it's causing these. Um, the UK Amazon site does not seem to work very well. So literally they have linked every one of their products together. There are 2,730 formats and editions. So whether you're looking for pride or prejudice, or you're looking for persuasion, or you're looking for anything else done by this author, by this particular publisher, you're actually going to find it's a, it's not even, it's, there's so many of them. It's not even pulling them up. You're actually going to find that you can find, look at all these different editions. Um, you're actually going to find that you're going to land on these and what they're doing is the publisher is this publisher should be kicked off of Amazon is what we're saying. What they're doing is they're linking all of their books together in such a way that all of their reviews count for all of their books. And so they all jump up and get a high sales ranking and they're doing this to game the system. Amazon UK needs to shut down this publisher. They're a scammy publisher. And this is the type of thing that we're talking about that the Guardian article is talking about. And presumably if we search for, they said Harry Potter does the same thing. Let's have a look at the Harry Potter books. Um, so I'm not showing that just searching for Harry Potter. We are seeing that the review numbers and counts are different. Uh, you can get the full collection. Um, so I'd have to dig into it and they did not give us a specific, um, uh, explanation as to what was going on. Now, is this a global issue? Apparently it's not because if you head on over to, uh, the UK version and look up here is the same Collins classic, um, 
Pride and Prejudice and Collins Classic Persuasion, you'll see that these actually are listed as separate products with their own separate reviews, even though the publisher is the same. Now, this is because the platforms work completely different. So much so that if you buy my books in USA and you buy my books in the UK, I actually get two separate payouts. I get one for the US and I get one for the UK. And so this is because Amazon runs differently and there's different laws dictating how they do different things and it really causes a lot of confusion in the world. But it's not something that is completely solved. And uh, I remember I was looking up hand-powered washing machines at one point in time. And so this is something that pops up. Now, this is a case where this company, Avalon Bay, has two similar related products. One of these is a washing machine and one of these is a hand spin dryer. But what you see is that they share reviews. And so if you were to look through the customer reviews on this product, you'll see that some of them is, some of them will indicate what the, um, what the product is for. Some of them will not. And so you, as you're reading through the reviews, you don't know if they're talking about the washing machine or if you're talking about the dryer, which are sharing reviews and different things. Of course, this is probably the same exact product that some other company is is uh, is now pushing. Uh, looks exactly like the same product. In fact, just a different label on it. Let's go back to this one. See that? Look at that. Same thing. Just just different. Uh, just different. Different naming label. You know, manufactured at the same location. And this is the type of thing we're talking about. There's a lot of these issues. Now, there's places that bundling reviews like this is actually a good thing. And this is when you get into books. So uh, this is, of course, my book, uh, Testing on Temptations, which is available as a Kindle, an audiobook, or a paperback. And with this book, um, you can pick this book up. And whether you're reviewing it on which one of the platforms, the review will show up with the same starring review on each one. I'm not sure why my site just decided it wanted to reload itself, but it did. Um, so whether you're looking up the Kindle, the paperback, or the audiobook version, it's going to be the same. And uh, what you're going to find is that the star reviews are the same. Now, the only exception is if you go over and review the book the audiobook directly on Audible because there's two reviews. I think one of those might feed into Amazon, um, but the other review is actually for the narrator. So you can review the narrator individually as you can review the book itself, the content. And so this is where this bundling is a good thing, but apparently in UK, you can bundle it and combine them all together. So I actually have three different books available. The, of course, this is the old one. I actually have three different books available and they all have their own separate um, reviews, their own separate platform. But any one of these will all link in and give the same review thing for each of the, the individual formats. And so there's a good thing and a good part of what Amazon is doing. So is this article correct from The Guardian? Well, yes and no. Their UK system needs a way to prevent authors from gaming the system like Collins Publishing is doing, um, but this is not something we necessarily see on the United States. But if a company sells this, you know, if the company bundles the two products together, like the washing machine and the dryer, then you don't know which one is which, and the reviews of one will bolster or hurt the reviews of the other. Now, there's other places you can get reviews. So like Goodreads, of course, if you are a, a uh, bookophile, Goodreads is like a social account for writers, uh, write, readers, writers, authors, and things. So these will actually carry with it different reviews. And actually, most sites not wanting to do as much with Amazon will actually pull the reviews in from Goodreads. Jokes on them, though. Goodreads is actually owned by Amazon. Um, but uh, with that being said... Um, uh, with that being said, you can actually um, you can actually use these. Now, if you are actually interested in this book, Testing and Temptations, I have a, a Goodreads giveaway going on on this book right now. 
uh, which is until uh, April 18th. We're giving away 100 copies. 52 have requested it. So you can join in over there if you uh, use that platform. So Amazon reviews. Is this a good issue? Is this a bad issue? Is this like, oh, the end of the world? Um, it depends on where you are. If you're reliant on the UK version, and my guess is all of them but the US version is probably going to have that same issue. Uh, here in the US, um, it's not as bad. Um, I think Amazon does a decent job with their rating systems. I would like to see a few changes in place. Like I said, if I've legitimately bought something on your platform, no matter how I bought it, I should at least be able to review that product I bought. Um, and right now you can't. Um, I'd also like to the, like them. Um, I actually have other people that have left legitimate reviews for my books on Amazon that Amazon has rejected the review for apparently no good reason. That's a problem. Because as an indie author, I rely on reviews for bolstering them up. In fact, some of the programs I could take advantage of for marketing my book, I can't until I have a certain number of reviews on the book as a whole on Amazon. And so Amazon needs to do a little bit of work, but at the same time, Amazon... Uh, at the same time, Amazon is, um, they're, in, a, they're in, in between a rock and a hard place. So that's kind of my thoughts. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below. And once again, if there is an independent author that you know, definitely help support their work. There are better places to buy from them from Amazon. At my site, it's directly at ourwalkingchrist.com. And I have other places you can buy the books from as well if you are interested. So thanks for coming along. Uh, you can help me out with uh, checking a look at the links up above me or in the description down below and follow along on the social media platforms if you want updates on what the channel's doing. So thanks for coming along and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.